In this video, we leave Bruges and head over to Rotterdam, Netherlands. So we just checked into our Airbnb, but they weren't really ready with it. Um, so we dropped some of our bags and now we're going to go out and uh, grab some lunch. But we're right next to this uh, really cool canal and it's actually really nice <laughs> there's a lot of birds there's a nice wow. little sprinkler for Yvonne to uh, enjoy looking at every morning oh my God. <laughs> I'm kind of like shocked under the bridge. Oh my yeah they go God. along they go along the river over here they just go all the way around <laughs> look it's a crew oh my God. Oh my God. This one? Oh, here it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the key. How cool. Got it? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So welcome to our Airbnb. So we're just gonna kind of get a little bit of errands done. There is a fridge, so we'll go food shopping. And we're gonna get the uh, laundry done as well. And then we'll figure out what we're gonna do today or tonight. Probably nothing though. We'll go out tomorrow for uh, sightseeing. So we just got back from the laundry and did a little bit of food shopping. So we put my hat in the dryer and it basically shrunk. And now the hat that I've been wearing for basically the whole trip is gonna go into the garbage. I know we've been complaining about the weather for the past few months, but I mean, It's not the easiest traveling during the winter, especially when half of the things that you want to see are outside. And we're not really big fans of museums. Um, I mean, we go to them if it's like a very, very big, like historical kind of museum. We don't just like go to like an art museum just because. But I think tomorrow it's going to be a little bit more of a clear day. Uh, maybe not as much rain, but just a cloudy day and we're hopefully gonna take advantage and just go out, get everything done in one day. This just comes with the travel sometimes. So we've been dealing with this weather for like the past like two months throughout Europe. In Since Paris we got it was okay. It was raining. And it was raining, but this is like, like a gloomy rain and freezing. Yeah. But regardless, it's just the, the weather. Now that we have daylight savings, it gets darker earlier. We already decided that we're gonna put a pause on the trip and kind of just uh, get past the winter back home, take some time to edit our videos. So after we go to Amsterdam, the next uh, flight out is back to New York where we're gonna be surprising my parents. And then our thing is every year we celebrate Thanksgiving with um, her family and we're just gonna surprise them as well. We haven't seen our family in a year It would be exactly a year like that's when we left after Thanksgiving. We yeah. just we left like it. on the November 26th November 20 26th. no November 25th. We left right and then we got to Australia on the 26th. 26th I think we're getting closer to one of our I guess one of the reasons why we came to Rotterdam is to see oh, right. the cube houses That's the marketplace yeah, we have to keep going straight down.
This is so cool, guys. So we found the kitchen. Ready to go to the next spot? So we are currently in the Markthal Market, which is open daily from like noon to 8 p.m. And you could like buy things, um, like right behind me is a bunch of like spices. It's actually pretty cool. And the whole design of it is the largest uh, painted mural in the Netherlands, I believe. Um, I, definitely in the Netherlands, but the whole ceiling is one giant mural. Yeah, it's like the Sistine Chapel of the Netherlands. So they scrape the meat off of the, the legs into one of these little cones. It's good. <laughs> Alright, that's our snack for the day. Two days later, we were ready to head over to Amsterdam. So we took the tram to Central Station to grab the bus. So we're just hanging out here at Starbucks for like the next two hours. Um, if you do come to Rotterdam Central Station and you are going to be taking a bus, they don't have lockers for people who are going to be using Flixbus, like coin lockers. Um, you would have to get a train ticket for that, so keep that in mind. Um, the lady that worked at the at the ticket booth told us that there's a bike rental place that they have lockers, but I'm just not comfortable putting all of our stuff with that. I'd rather just put in a regular coin locker or just find a place like right now we're in Starbucks. And uh, you know, just hang out. So we got bad news. Our bus is delayed for one hour. All right, quick update. We are still waiting for our bus. I see bus. it, I see it, I see it. There's one behind us, but we kept asking and he said, no, that's not the bus. And he's actually waiting for it the bus that we're supposed to get on so we could get passengers but there's still no update and we're, blocked. we're supposed to be there 30 minutes from now right yeah we were supposed to be there at 3 30 so we've been out of the airbnb since 11 o'clock so four hours just waiting and still no bus so quick update bus is still not here and Yvonne is just trying to give him a call to see where it is because the Flixbus, Flixbus app does not have a customer service like direct. So we're having issues because when we're calling it, it's in German and we can't get anybody. I think we're gonna go inside and speak to one of the people that uh, works in the central station now. So those people outside were on this bus and the bus that left just about like 15 minutes ago. The other guy. They needed to transfer to it and they it, it, and it just left. So and it kind of just left. That sucks so bad. They don't have communication. I don't know why they don't have like communication with each other. We arrived in Amsterdam at 5 p.m. where we will be showing you in our next video. So subscribe to see that. We hope you enjoyed this one. Take care.